If you're a beginner YouTuber who wants to grow their channel faster or potentially simplify their content creation process, you're going to want to check out these five tools. Now, the first tool on our list is Keywords Everywhere. And what this tool does, it has both a practical aspect, but also an AI aspect. And what it essentially does is when you go to the search bar on YouTube, you know, if I search how to edit in and just see what search results pop up. What it'll actually do is show me the search volume for each of these phrases. So how to edit in CapCut gets a thousand searches a month. Uh, how to edit Instagram Reels gets 1,600 searches a month. And so basically what I can do with this tool is figure out, okay, where is the demand on YouTube? What are people looking for? What are they interested in? And if I can make a video around a topic people are interested in, chances are my video is going to have a better chance at getting views. Or maybe I can search something like best beginner, and let's see what comes up. Best beginner motorcycle, best beginner golf club set, sports bike, camera, credit card, uh, guitar, bikes. Like there's so many different options here across different niches. And you can just think about, okay, what does my viewer search for? What are they looking for on YouTube? And then kind of try to type that out. What, the, what are they potentially searching for? And then you can double check that, oh yes, my viewers are actually looking this up and I'm not just gonna make a video uh, around something that my audience isn't even looking for. But the second part of this tool is where things get super cool because what you can do is you can go to your own channel and let me actually use this video to demonstrate this. I did a video called 10 years of YouTube advice in 23 minutes. And what I can actually do with keywords everywhere is they have a summarize this video section that'll appear right next to your video. And I can easily click on any of these, I guess, AI language models. I'm gonna use Gemini because I really like how it, uh, it does it. So I can click on this and what Gemini is going to do is they'll instantly send, summarize the transcript of a YouTube video in 10 bullet points and gives, gives Gemini the YouTube link. And it literally will summarize my video here. And then what I can do is say, turn each of these points into social media posts. And maybe I'll even add paragraph because I wanted to have some... Um, good depth there, click send. And in just a few seconds, I'm going to have posts from my YouTube video. It's gonna take those points, turn them into posts, then now I can go share on my YouTube community tab, which can get you impressions, get people to know, like, and trust you. But also I can repurpose this on X, on Facebook, on Instagram, on uh, threads, on anywhere else. I want to share content. For example, here's post number two. It says your video's success starts with the topic. It's more important than your thumbnail or title. Study your competition, find a gap in the market, and create content that solves real problems. Like, I think that is a totally decent post. Or if I really wanted to adjust it a bit, I could, but this is something I could easily copy and paste and now I've got a post I can use. So I think both for seeing the search volume and then also being able to turn your own posts into social media posts, I think that combination makes this totally worth it. Um, if they do have a weird pricing system where you pay like $20 and you get credits and stuff. But from what I found, 20 bucks usually lasts me about four months of doing different research and things like that and just having it turned on the whole time while I watch YouTube videos on my computer. Um, so you'll probably get like, probably like 60 bucks a year or something like that, which is totally worth it uh, because it's really gonna help you focus on making the right content. The next tool on our list is Glean AI, which is a video editing AI software designed specifically for YouTubers. If you have not tried AI editing yet, let me tell you, it's not just hype. I know sometimes people are like, oh, ChatGBT, and then you try ChatGBT and it spits some stuff out. AI video editing is no joke and will completely transform your life. It's completely transformed mine. I edit with AI every single time I edit a video. Let me actually show you how it works and also thanks to Glean for sponsoring this integration. So all I have to do is click here to open my files and add my video in. I can title the project, how to get 100K subs, because this was a short I was actually making. Uh, I've got my video clip added, I'm gonna click continue. Um, and then also it's gonna ask me here to what I wanna do with this video. So I'm gonna choose cut silences. Uh, well, right now, uncheck cut bad takes. Um, but then I could also add if I want to, if I know there's background noise, I could click remove audio noise. 
Um, or if I wanted to add jump cut zoom ins done by AI, I could do that as well. But we'll do this for now. Let's click enhance and edit and just give it a minute here. All right, we're in. And as you can see down here in the timeline, it's already removed all the silent parts where I'm not talking. And if I click on pace here, it'll actually show me it removed 10 pauses, it removed 37 seconds of, of, of the video. Uh, just cutting all the silences out of the video. And then to actually edit this, I literally can just use this text editor and I can see, oh, I messed up here. All I gotta do is select all those words, click delete, and they're gone, just like that. Like it's that easy to edit your video. Or if I really want to, I can go down here and line up the playhead. I can click split and, and, and make edits like that, but you really don't have to. You can just use the text editor here and literally just edit your script and it'll edit the video for you. And let me actually show you how this looks. I'm gonna turn off show cuts and now we just have all the clips put together. Let's click play and take a look at this. The secret to getting a YouTube play button is to solve people's problems. In my YouTube journey, I realized that some of my- And if I want to, I can also adjust the, the pace of this. So if I want it to be a harsher cut, I can turn this up and click apply. Um, I usually prefer to have of a tighter cut. And let's actually take a listen to it starting from here, just so you can hear more of the cuts and how it sounds when the AI edits the video. And as I started to make more videos on that and built up my library, I eventually started getting views pouring into my channel, which led to more subscribers. And it only took me about two years to gain over 100,000 subscribers on my channel. Help people solve their problems and they will help you get this. And that honestly did a really great job. And I can even enhance this more by clicking enhance. I can add captions. I can do the jut cut zooms. I can do the remove noise from audio. And then once I'm done, I can actually export this video out. If I wanted to, I could literally just save it as a video, upload it to YouTube, or I could even use this as just something to help me cut out the silences or the bad takes. Um, and then send it over to Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro or Resolve. So I can literally just use this as a helpful editor that works with my other editors. So like I like to edit with Premiere Pro. I can use this to cut the silences out, send it over to Premiere Pro and then add in like, you know, the stock footage and text and different and all, and all the other things you might add to your video. Again, I highly recommend checking this out, especially if you've never touched AI editing before, it's gonna blow your mind. The link is down below in the description. Definitely check it out. The next tool on our list is Gemini from Google. And we already talked about this a little bit with the keywords everywhere thing, but where this is valuable, I see two main uses that I've been using it for. I guess three, because yes, the social media post is one thing. The other thing is idea uh, generation and coming up with different variations of titles. So I can say, help me come up with some video idea variations of this title. And I can paste my title in here, click enter, and it's gonna shoot me some different ideas here that I might be able to use. So AI tools, every beginner YouTuber needs. Best AI tools for YouTube beginners in 2024. AI tools you didn't know existed, but should. AI tools to take your YouTube channel to the next level. And there's a lot here. And what I'll do is I'll take this and I won't just copy and paste whatever Gemini gives me. I never recommend doing that but take some of those combinations and concepts it gives you and use that to build a better title. Or I could even build off of this and say, be more dramatic with the titles. And now it's gonna shoot back uh, some more dramatic words in here. Uh, AI, the YouTuber's secret weapon. Unleash the AI beast, grow your channel faster. AI, the dark horse of YouTube success. Like that, that, that has a lot of interest. Maybe I'd say the dark secret of YouTube success because people feel like the algorithm's against them. That might actually have some interest there. So there's a lot of power there with really brainstorming how you're going to word your title. The other part I absolutely love about Gemini is I can generate images for free, either for my thumbnails or I can generate them for free for like, you know, just little images I can have slide up on screen as I'm talking about something uh, on video. So for example, I could do uh, make a photo, if we want to be silly, uh, of a cat vlogging. And in just a few seconds, Gemini is going to generate a cat vlogging. And there we go. We have cat vlogging uh, <laughs> image there. We got another one here. Um, I think this one is a, an attempt at doing it. Cat with headphones, let's have it generate some more here. Here we got uh, a cat with like a GoPro type thing on its head. But you know, even on a more serious note, I can do make a photo 
of a desk that has a computer on it with editing software. And I'll say video editing software just so it's very clear. And then in a few seconds, I'm going to have an image of, of this. There we go. And I actually kind of like this one. I like this orange glow here. And what we can actually do, we can download this be able to use it and let's actually go to our next tool because we can totally use our next tool uh, with this image, which is Canva. Canva has actually been adding a lot of different AI features. And one of my favorite parts is the AI things they've been doing with photos and the possibilities of making better thumbnails. Now, if you wanna explore all these tools, you can go over to Magic Studio in your Canva account. Um, you'll find a lot of the different AI things that they have in here, like creating AI videos, uh, some other things in here. But as it relates to thumbnails, let's take our AI generated image here. Awesome. Um, let's move it actually over to this side a bit. Then we're gonna click the three dots here. And then what we're gonna do is click over here on the sparkly thing. And we're gonna click magic expand. And what we can actually do, we want to expand the whole page Click magic expand and it's going to generate past this image and help us create an entire thumbnail here. There we go. It's expanded it and it's given me a few options here. I can actually choose from. I could do something like that. You know, let's take a look around here. I kind of like this one the best. I think this is good. Uh, so we can click done. And now we have this background that we have designed like my potential office. And then I can actually go over to my uploads and add myself. So here's an image of me. And then also with Canva, you can click edit image and click background removal. It's gonna automatically remove the background for me. There we go. I can increase the size of myself here. Perfect. And then let's actually click on the background here. I'm gonna click blur. Let's actually um, add some blur on the whole image here just so it's a little bit focused on me, but we still have this cool editing setup. I think that might look good. And you know, I think that's decent. I'd probably work on this a bit more, uh, but for the sake of this tutorial, you can kind of get the concept here. I can use AI to completely design a background for me and then remove the background for myself. And you know, depending on your niche, you could totally use AI to completely customize the background, especially if you're in the entertainment niche. I could be like, make a photo, make a photo of an apocalypse city, and it's gonna generate those images. I can click download, upload that to Canva. We'll move myself out of the way for this. Click on this, we can click the stars. We're gonna expand this whole page. There we go, click done. And I don't know why I'd be smiling about this, <laughs> but maybe I am. Let's do a concerned Colin face here because I am lost in the apocalypse. And there we go, we've completely changed our thumbnail just using AI in the background. And there's even other AI features in here that you can utilize to help enhance this even further. But this is definitely something you should explore and check out because it has a lot of potential for making some really great thumbnails. And once you have that thumbnail design, this is actually where our next tool comes in. And this one's not necessarily AI, but it's still worth mentioning because I think it's gonna help you with YouTube, it is something called thumbsup.tv. So this is the site, thumbsup.tv. You add your photo here, and let's just say my title is how to get more views on YouTube in 2024 ultimate guide. And I'm purposefully making my title really long here. And then what I can do is I can scroll down on this page here after I click enter and it'll actually display on screen how my thumbnail is going to appear across everything. So on a web browser, this is what it's going to look like and where the text is going to get cut off. So if we see if that someone's looking on the homepage and it's this small section, how to get more views on YouTube in 2024, they're not gonna see ultimate guide, it gets cut out. And you can see the same for like mobile as well to see how everything's going to look, how small your thumbnail is gonna look on someone's phone. Like you gotta make sure your text is really bold and visible there. Um, but then I can also see how the title's gonna look. So this is really useful for being able to see your thumbnail and how it's going to appear in multiple places, as well as your title. So that way you can make sure it is best optimized and is going to get viewers to click and things aren't too small and it's not hard to see. And this one is also completely free. So definitely check it out. And if you want me to go deeper into any of these tools, please leave a comment down below. Let me know and I'll consider making a more in-depth video on any of these tools. And if you actually wanna see more of the Glean editing app. I did a more long form video on this as well. You should go and check that out. Uh, I go through a lot of the other features in there as well. So definitely go and check out this video as well.